I've just released a powerful new script to the Xcolor Draw script library, and I want to demonstrate it to you using the Visual Thinking Workshop Demo Vault. And if you're interested in what the Demo Vault contains, I'm going to include a link in the video description that gives you a peek through the keyhole to see the different type of materials that are available to the participants of the Visual Thinking Workshop. But to dive into the topic, let's look at the storyboard for session two. And here I want to focus on this topic of idea decomposition or visual idea decomposition, which is about the idea that when I'm creating a book on a page or any other material that is a one page document in Xcolidraw, I'm building that page from components and those components I'm building from even smaller components and this decomposition approach helps me with connectivity between ideas, helps me with reusability like in case of Lego blocks and helps me with finding unexpected connections. So let's look, for example, at the checklist manifesto book on a page. If I open this, then it's probably easier to understand what I mean by all of this. So if you look at this page, you will see that the page consists of individual ideas. So each of these items that I'm clicking on are one unit of idea. And these ideas are then Excolidraw documents on their own right. So here I don't have the individual drawing elements, but this is an embedded Excolidraw drawing. So for example, if I click on this, you will see that this is actually a drawing with icons and with text. And if I click on one of the icons, then you will see that this icon has a proper name. It's the communication alignment networking collaboration icon. And if I look at backlinks, then I will also see that I'm using this icon in multiple places. For example, if I click on the first one, it will take me to another visual idea, which is the checklist best practices idea and you can see right here I have the same icon on this drawing and this is used in multiple places so for example if I click here on my summary of the checklist manifesto it will take me to this document and I'm going to find this idea right here but equally if I would click on the book on a page then it would take me to the book on a page. So this way I'm able to navigate through ideas. And if, by the way, you're interested in this concept of navigating between documents and notes through ideas, I'm going to include another video in the video description. And this video is about the connection between Tiago's building a second brain book and Picasso's bull and I think it's just a neat way of discovering information via images. And I recommend watching that video. But for the topic of today's discussion, let's create a new Excolidraw drawing. And first of all, we need to install a script. You can install the script using the install or update Excolidraw scripts. I right clicked on the tab and that's how I brought this up. But also if you press Control or Command P and you just type in install in the command palette, you will find install or update Excolidraw scripts this way as well. If I open this window, you see this whole long list of scripts available. We are now going to look at the decompose selected elements into new drawing script. And all you need to do is you need to click here, install script you will see this message pop up that the script was installed. So we are now ready to go. So to get the idea across, let me create a simple little drawing. I'm going to include a couple of icons here. So maybe I'm going to include this light bulb. I'm going to make this slightly smaller. And then I'm including uh, maybe 
hand washing as an icon. And I'm just going to create this idea. This is going to be a very simple idea that hand washing helps stay healthy, right? So that's going to be the idea that I created here. And maybe on the same drawing, I'm going to just add some other icons as well. Maybe I'm going to uh, include this surgeon as an idea. And we can also add some whatever boxes or arrows. I mean, this is now the document that I'm creating. The actual drawing right now is not so important. But imagine the following. You recognize that this thought right here, this hand washing helps uh, you stay healthy. This is something you want to reuse somewhere else as well. So this is a unit of thought that you want to use. So what would you do? Well, you can create a new drawing. You can make this an Excalibur drawing. You can select all these items. You can click copy. You can come over to this other drawing and paste those new items. You can rename this and call this the idea like this. And then you can come back here and delete these elements and instead you can insert an image and you can insert the idea like this and you can place the idea right here and so that is sort of doable but it takes a lot of clicks so instead what you can now do and i'm going to undo all of this so this is now back to the drawing i'm going to delete this the idea file so i am back to the starting place Instead now with the new script, so this is the new script with the pizza slice and it's called decompose selected elements into new drawing. If I select these elements and click the pizza slice, then I'm prompted for a file name. So the idea is going to be my file name or you can give it whatever descriptive idea. I typically like to give my drawings very descriptive ideas. So also the file name helps me resurface the image but i'm just going to give this this name and immediately on a new pane this element was opened and if i come back here this is no longer individual elements but this is the image so the script took these elements created a new drawing with the name that I've just given, saved it in the same folder. So here, if I open the Xcolidraw folder, then this is my drawing and this is the idea that I just created. And it embedded this right here. And now if, for example, I change this drawing, so I change my unit of idea and reshuffle uh, the light bulb and the hand. So now the light bulb is on the left. And if I come back here, Excolidraw will update in a second and you can see that I have my light bulb right here. So I think this is a very powerful tool if you want to do decomposition like I explain right here in, in this diagram. So if you want to create documents where your big triangle is the overall document which consists of individual visual ideas and those visual ideas consists of even more atomic ideas then this script can help facilitate that process because usually the way these are created these unit of ideas are created is such that you create a big idea on a whiteboard you start to draw you start to think about your ideas and then you want to take parts of that drawing and create your atomic ideas and by the way we can also work further so if i would want i could take now part of this image and i could again execute the decompose into and this is going to be the light bulb and hand idea and now 
what you can see here and i'm just going to use the backlinks that the light bulb and hand drawing is part of the idea drawing which is part of my bigger drawing right here and again if i go back to light bulb and hand and for example i'm just going to draw this whatever around this just this line so you can see the change if i draw this line around it and now i come to the idea then you can see that that line is there on the idea and if i come to my drawing that line is right there so you can see that i can build atomic elements in my drawing and those will propagate up the chain and this can be any level deep so that was all i wanted to share today if you're interested in the visual thinking workshop then today or actually until tomorrow morning you can still catch the visual thinking workshop at an early bird price after that it is going to be at the full price so grab your seat now and otherwise thank you for watching